Hey, what's going on YouTube? Long time no see, right? Um, it, it, sorry it's been a little while since I've uploaded, but um, I'm back here today, and today is a very, very, very special day. Because today, I have got the big boy, the ultra premium collection for celebrations, the 25th anniversary set for Pokemon. I spent like $350 on this thing, so you get about $200 worth of promo cards alone in this thing, which almost makes it worth it, but, um, I mean, yeah, over time, I think, uh, you'll, you'll see, so let's break the seal on this thing. It's gonna definitely go up in value over the years, so, yeah, it'll, it's gonna be worth it for sure, but man, I am so excited to be opening this. I've, I have opened up a few Celebrations boxes already, I just haven't gotten around to editing the videos yet, but... I, I'm, I'm gonna be definitely doing this one. This is gonna be the first celebrations opening I do on the channel, so. All right, so we have broken the seal. It looks like this thing comes off right here. So, I'm, I'm probably gonna knock over a statue or two over there, but let's see here. Ooh, it opens up like that. Okay, so it opens up from the other side here. Hold on, give me a moment to get things situated here. Two hours later. Okay. Man, this looks so freaking cool, you guys. So, oops. Yeah, I have to. I had to put my camera stand on the thing here, but these things open up here. Ooh, here we go. I see a couple promo cards here. <laughs> All right, oops. I picked up a couple of the packs, but here are the promo cards that come with this set. This is the golden Pokeball. So, oh wow, look at the centering is horrible on this thing. Look at how much thicker it is on that side compared to how it is on this side, so. Wow, okay, I am definitely not sending this one into Get Graded. This is going straight to the binder, but. Wow, still a cool card, nonetheless. All right, so there's that one. Hopefully this one's not as bad. It doesn't, it's still not that good, but not quite as bad as that other one, but still a very, very awesome gold card here. Uh, this will be do probably just going in the binder as well. I'll open these up off camera though, so we'll worry about those. All right, all right. Open this up a little bit more, and these are the celebrations packs right here. Make sure I got them all. Yep. All right. So I think this comes with 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17 celebrations booster packs so we're definitely gonna be getting some good stuff out of these today you guys so all right let's get this last door open right here all right looks like these are just more booster packs so got ooh three chilling ring okay so that's not bad uh vivid voltage three vivid voltage okay so they're actually giving you some pretty good sets in here you got a chance to pull a rainbow rare pikachu which i haven't pulled yet um a darkness ablaze and two darkness ablazes. All right, that's that's that. These are actually some good packs. These are actually some good packs. All right, we'll probably open up those first. And here you go. This is for the entire box right here. Good luck to whoever gets that. I think you just get the promo cards with that. But this is the big one right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. But first, there's a couple other things in here I want to get first if I can so we'll pull those out we have the it looks like a little metal coin here hope it's a little ripped on the side there and just come right out there so as you can tell it's a pretty solid coin here it's got the 25th anniversary logo on it so pretty cool pretty cool doesn't get very focused there but oh well and it comes with a pin, a little Charizard and Pikachu pin here. So another cool pin, because why the hell not? It's just throw a pin in there, right? So that's pretty cool looking, man. All right, go ahead and close that back up. All right, these are the big ones here. Oh man, these look so cool. These are the gold cards that come, or the, the gold metal cards that come with the set here. So I'm gonna be, Extremely careful on opening this So I don't get so there have been a couple issues I've seen on the YouTube videos a couple of these have had some Chipped uh, paint on the back and I'll show you that here in a second, but this is the Pikachu 
looks pretty cool. All right, let's check out the back here. Um, and a little bit of a, I guess you can call it goldening right here on the bottom there. You can kind of see it, and there's a little bit of a spot right here on the side too. You kind of saw it there, but other than that, this one's in pretty good condition. So I think you can actually sleeve these like a normal card too. So let's actually see if we can do that here. Oh, wow, look at that. So, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool, man. So I'm gonna actually, I don't have any uh, penny sleeves right now, so I'm just putting it in one of these for now. So, but that's awesome. But here's the big one. This is the big, big, big cream fresh of the set right here. The Charizard base set gold card, man. Oh man, another Charizard to collect and this thing is just so cool. This one's in pretty good condition. It's not even a reddish tint to it here as you can see, but wow. Wow, that's all I can say about this thing. So, all right, let's take a look at the back here. And wow, this one's actually in pretty good condition. It's like a little, did that come off? Yeah, that just came right off. Okay, cool. Wow, I'm not seeing any sort of chipping. Oh, a little smudge down there. Okay, that just came, looks like that just came right off too. So, wow, yeah, I think this one's in much better condition than the Pikachu one there. So, then I think I, I got lucky on this one. So, this is a pretty good, really, really good condition. Charizard here no chips or anything like that so I'm gonna be a little extra careful here so I don't get any more damage in there this might actually if you're able to get this one graded I might actually just go out and send this one to get graded because it's definitely contender for a 10 for sure so all right yep this is the big one and it's time for the patch so I'm going to go ahead and just take this out of the way so I have more room here two hours later all right, and we're back. We so got a lot more room here. We'll go ahead and put these down over here so you guys can see them. With the awesomeness of these promo cards here, man. I just can't get over how awesome this Charizard looks, man. It just looks, oh, I'm so happy to have it. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get into these uh, booster packs first. Let's go ahead and start off with Chilling Rain. So I have the, uh, I pulled the Blaziken VMAX out of this already. So I'm still looking for the, a lot, all the birds in their uh, alternate forms, or yeah, it's the alternate artwork, I should say. Um, so yeah, I'm still looking for those. Um, still a couple other cards, a lot of other cool cards I can get from this set too, so. We have a Fire Energy, Cybold, Melanie, Brawly, Didlet, La Vesta, Inke, Rockruff, Ghastly, an Agatha, Reverse Hollow, and just a Cobalion Holographic. Ugh. All right, let's get into the next pack here. Hopefully we can get some Ultra Rares here. So I'm, I'm just uh, happy to be opening up more packs here with you guys. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded. I have got a couple, as you can see from the Pikachu there, I have opened up some of the... Uh, celebrations boxes already um a couple of them i've recorded and i just haven't gotten around to editing them yet but um i will probably eventually get to those soon just so you can see what i've pulled already um you can get the base set charizard base set blast toys hopefully i can get a base set charizard here man that would be that would just give the box the top notch here uh, out of the celebrations patch so reverse hollow there oh all right off to a good start on the Ultra Rares. Got a Galarian Zapdos V. I think I have this one already, but I think this is uh, definitely one of the better Ultra Rares. Uh, at least with the, the non-full art ones. This is one of the better ones you can get out of the set. So I'll take it for sure. All right. Last of the Chilling Rain. Then we got some Vivid Voltage and some Darkness Ablaze. I still want to pull that, fat, pe that rat, fat Rainbow Pikachu. I still haven't gotten that one yet. And there's a couple other, uh, I, I don't know if the Tyranitar is in that one or not. I believe it is, but I could be wrong. Uh, we'll see here. All right, and we have a Dark Energy, a Flannery, Agatha, Old Cemetery, Coffer, uh, Galarian Yant Mask, a Snurrunt, Bound Sweet, a Cob, a Kubufu, Kubufu, Kubufu. Oh, I can't say that. A cast form, reverse hollow, ah, and just a 
Rapid Strike or Fishu or Ififu. I can't say that name either. Uh, just another hollow. So, all right, I'll go ahead and uh, do the two darkness ablaze here. So I, ha I have pulled the Charizard V mats. I pulled him out of just one of the single booster packs, he, the ones that you get in the cardboard sleeves. Um, yeah, I pulled him out of one of those. Surprisingly, it's the first like really really high valuable card that I've uh, pulled just out of a single blister pack or booster pack like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, and we have. The Darkness Energy, the Sim Sage, Clan. We got a Totsapex, a Diglett, just a little spark right there, a Tauros, a Pan Sage, a Wishy Washy, a Rickety Dickety Doo, a Tar, a Tsarneen, Sarin, I, th I can't say her name. That's the Reverse Hollow, I think that's a Reverse Rare, yep. And just a Clink Clank Rare. Alright. On to the second darkness ablaze here. So I think the Charizard's like the only like really, really valuable. It's not even like extremely valuable either. I think it's still only going for like a hundred bucks, but I think that's probably the only like pretty valuable card you can get from this set other than maybe like one or two others. We have a Relicant, Soul Rock, Bird Keeper, Electrike, Dunsparce, Found Sweet, Spinarak, Panpour, a Decidueye, Reverse Hollow, and just a Flygon Rare. Alright, nothing too, too crazy yet, but let's get into the Vivid Voltage Packs here. Get me a fat Rainbow Pikachu here. That would be pretty sweet. Honestly, I haven't pulled any of the Pikachus from this fat, uh, set. I don't even think I've pulled the uh, normal ones either, just like the regular V's, but let's see what we can get here. We have a Fighting Energy, an Electrike, Sableye, Go Go Goat, a Mudbray, Sludma, Whimsur, Wismer, an Execute, a Wubat, a Carless Reverse Hollow, and just a Galarian Preserker. All right. Next pack here, so two more normal packs, then we're going right into those celebrations packs there. Those are where the gold's gonna be, man. Hopefully we can get, like I said, another reprint of the base set Charizard. That would be cool, we get two Charizards out of this box. All right, we have water, or fire energy, I said water energy. Delmise, Electrike, uh, Galarian Stuntfist, Execute, Eevee. A Wubat, an Aracuda, a C-Dot, a Alistair, Reverse Hollow. Oh, wow, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. An Alakazam V Full Art. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finally got a Full Art. That, all right. I don't know if there is a... Um, hyper rare of this, so this might be the best Alakazam, unless there's an alternate art too, but I don't think there is, but sweet, at least it's a cool Pokemon like Alakazam too, so I will take it. Alright, last normal pack here, see if we can finish off strong, then we'll go right into those celebrations packs. Code. Alright, let's see if we can finish us off strong here. We have a Dark Herb Psychic Energy, a Go Goat, Carless, Carless, Stone Energy, Puccina, Charmander, Shetox, Jotic, a Cottony, a Whale Lord, Reverse Hollow. That is a Reverse Rare as well. Oh! Wow! All right, that's what I'm talking about, man. We got a Gold Rare. To go along with all the other gold cards too, so. All right, all right. That's not a bad way to finish off the normal sets there. So, all right. So, let's get into the good stuff here. All right, I gotta pick a lucky pack out of this one. I choose you. That's when I have the Charizard right there. So, let's get into this. I've only pulled the Blast Toy, uh, the Blast Toys uh, as far as the starters go. Um, I've pulled a couple others, but th 
the Blastoise is really the only noteworthy one so far, so. All right, here's the code. Then, flip that up there. We have Cosmod, or Cosmoam, a Mew, and a Zekrom. So nothing out of that first pack there. But let's keep it going, let's keep it going. So I think I've pulled, if I can remember correctly, I think I pulled the Team Rocket, uh, Team Madma's uh, Groudon, or something, I think it's Team Madma. I pulled the Groudon, um, I pulled uh, the Professor Oak's Revenge, and that, like I said, uh, the Blastoise is really the only noteworthy one I've pulled so far. So we got the Ho-Oh Holographic, Lugia Holographic, <laughs> Professor's Research. I actually like this card, how it's, uh, Kind of like how his uh, arms pop, and it, it kind of gives it like a 3D effect of the card, so that's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. We got our first classic pull. Uh, here comes Team Rocket. So this is actually, back in the day, this was one of the easiest cards to grade, just because the only really hollow part of the card is right there. So this was a very, very easy card to get in a PSA 10. Just kind of a little fact there. A little. All right. Let's get into the next pack here. See if we can continue our streak here. Uh, the Charizard is obviously what we're really chasing for, but we also want to get the Shining Magikarp. That would be a really good pull, or the Umbreon. Those are like the three, um, the Umbreon and the Shining Magikarp are like the three toughest cards to get from this set for some reason. So, all right, up front there. We have a Xerneas, a Kyogre, Lunala. <laughs> All right. I think this is like the third one of these guys that I've pulled, but it's okay. It's okay. It's better than getting uh, another holographic card there. So I will take it. Go ahead and sleeve him up right there. But that's not a bad card. Not bad. All right. Next pack here. But I want to get that Charizard, man. I want that Charizard. Or like I said, the Umbreon or the Shining Magikarp would also be really good, too. All right. One up to the front. And we have the Palkia. Zekrom. Galio, And a Groudon. So nothing out of that one there. All right. Let's get into the next one here. Hey, and this actually comes with a decent amount of celebrations pack, so I'm actually, I, I don't think I'm going to make my money back, at least not, not right now anyways, but it's definitely, I thought it was cool and worth getting, so especially for those gold cards right there, man, so, but honestly, if you're just looking for the gold cards, I might just, uh, and you're not planning on uh, keeping this uh, sealed, you might just want to just get the gold cards themselves or just try to get them on eBay, but Got a little uh, reverse. Uh, I get that's more of a character card of the Pikachu there. So pretty cool, pretty cool, and just a Yavelta. All right, go ahead and sleeve up the Pikachu here. So this one is actually a fairly common card to get out of this set. That and the Surfing uh, Ultra. I'm at, I'm actually surprised. I'm gonna jinx myself probably here, but. I was gonna say, I'm surprised I haven't pulled one of the flying Pikachus or uh, surfing Pikachu full arts right there. You just get a ton of those out of this set. <laughs> so I can get it open there. All right, here's the code. One up to the front. All right, we have Yavelta, Reshiram, a Mew, and a Kyogre. So nothing out of that one there. Let's get into the next one here. Oops, kind of butchered that one. Two hours later. There we go. Man, this patch is, is giving me so much trouble here. All right. That one did not want to come out. Hopefully this one has the Charizard. Just, it just did not want to come out there for a second. But All right, one up to the front. We have Zekrom. Ho-Oh. Oh, all right, Zacian V Ultra Rare. Not bad, not bad. And oh, all right, that's what I am talking about, man. I will take it. A Venusaur Holographic 25th Anniversary card, man. 
Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. You can actually see the, uh, the kind of the, um, what do you call it? The texture on the card there. You can't really see it as well on the Venusaur here. And I can't get my camera to focus that well for some reason, but it's not being very cooperative, but we will take it. All right. Let's get the Venusaur sleeved up here. All right. Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. It feels like I'm in its first grade again. <laughs> uh, it feels like I'm back in the 90s. Back when I was collecting those cards. Collecting the vintage cards. So let me guys know if you'd want to see. I know I haven't posted my collection in a while. Let me know if you'd want to see a video of my updated collection. So it's been about a year since I've done that. I haven't really added any of the vintage cards. Just because they're so ridiculously expensive now. But I've gotten a lot of uh, new of the, uh, what do you call it, modern cards. So we can definitely do another video like that if you guys want to see it. Cosmod, another one of these. Like I said, it's a very common card to get from this set. Well, I'll, I won't sleep that one up right now. We'll just keep on going here, get into the next one. I hope that, like, I like the Venusaur and everything, but I hope that's not the only... Uh, base set card that I pull here. Let me see if I can get that Charizard. I'd want that Charizard. <laughs> All right, one to the front. And we have Reshiram, Kyogre, Lunala. <laughs> oh man, I will take this too. Oh, I think I pulled. I just got arguably the hardest card to get from this set here, besides from. Maybe the Umbreon, but see, you can see the texture much, much better on the holographic on this card. Oh, wow, that is so awesome. The Shining Magic Carp. The, the uh, centering is a little, maybe just a little bit off, but not by much. Let's take a look at the back here. The back looks pretty freaking good, too. Ah, oh, this made the opening so much better right here, so that's definitely pumping the value of the opening so far and I'll do a an overall because um, I know the celebrations cards have gone down a little bit in price but I'll do what I got as an overall value out of this box and I'll let you know if I even made any money out of this uh, I, like I said out of short term like right now I probably did not unless I pull a Charizard here then that's gonna change things but more than likely I probably will end up in the negatives but i think over time i'll definitely i'll be getting back up into the positives here we have a sodalio oh, oh i thought i saw a little bit of red right there it kind of gave me a small minor heart attack but ah oh, come on i want that charizard so badly <laughs> all right here's the code but honestly i can't complain with the uh a, a lot of the, I obviously can't complain with the magic carp there. You got a Kyogre. But yeah, so far so good. Hey, there we go. It's about damn time you've made your appearance. Uh, surfing Pikachu V Max and just a Cosmo one. All right, let's get you sleeved up here. If I can get it the right way, there we go. All right, put you right there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, plus the lucky pack makes six. So we're getting, let's see if we can finish off strong here with these last few packs. But yeah, I, I've gotten some pretty decent pulls so far. So again, I'm probably gonna jinx myself here, but you do get a lot of uh, duplicates from this set. So especially with the, uh, the vintage cards, you do tend to get quite a few Oh my god! Oh! Oh man! I can't believe this just happened. Holy shit! Oh man, this video is not made for kids, so I can cuss. Oh wow! That is amazing. I've gotten two of the, arguably the hardest cards to pull from this set. Wow! Oh man, I can't believe I just pulled that. This is going definitely in the binder. Wow, wow. 
Oh, that is such a beautiful, beautiful looking card. I've been, this is another card I've been definitely wanting to pull too. Wow. So yeah, I think I may have made my money back on this box. Um, I, like I said, I know they've, the cards have gone down a little bit in price, but man, the only thing that would make this better is a Charizard right now. And that's one of the, um, uh, uh, just one of the uh, normal cards from the set. That's not considered one of the vintage cards. So we might still have a chance here. Let's see what we can get. And we have Eludia, Xerneas, Sogalio. Oh, baby. All right. We got a Gardevoir EX. Oh, man. I think this is from the, this is from the, um, uh, Deoxys era. The, um, yeah, I think the, the set's called Deoxys, uh, EX Deoxys and, uh, a couple of the, like the Holland Phantoms, it's from kind of from that era. I don't know exactly which uh, set this card's from, but oh man, another vintage card. I will take it. All right, we're coming down to the last few packs here. But man, we've been finishing off pretty strong here on these last few packs. Wow, this has been uh, quite the opening, and what a comeback, guys. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded a video but man we are coming back with a bang today are we <laughs> all right let's get you up front and we have a Kyoder, a dialda all right another zossian v not bad and just a cosmo one uh, i'll just leave him unsleeved right now let's get into the next pack here so i think honestly i think uh that Mew there was the last card I needed from the regular set. So I think I've got that done. I just need, uh, obviously, the vintage set. So, oh, get up front. And we have Yavelta, Dialga. All right, another. I think this is the third one, man. So, like, yeah, like I said, you get a lot of these ones from this set. Oh, all right, another Imposter Professor Oak. I have gotten this one already, but again, I will take it. So honestly, I'm surprised you usually get a duplicate or two from a, even from the smaller boxes. Again, I'm, I hope I don't jinx myself here, but yeah, yeah I, I've noticed a lot of YouTubers, they'll usually get like a lot of the duplicate, especially, like I said, especially from the um, extended sets there, so. But yeah, we've been pretty, we've been doing pretty good here, guys. We've been doing really, really good. All right. And we have Ho-Oh, Xerneas, Lunala, and just a Yavelta. All right. Lucky pack. You've got a lot of competition here, buddy. I think there's only one card that can be in this pack here that would completely beat everything that I've opened up here and y'all know what that is so let's see if we can finish off with some last pack magic here all right lucky pack we have Cosmoam, Ludia oh man just a Zamazenta V and a Palkia so that was a I, I mean it's I still at least got an ultra rare so it wasn't a ultra dud but still could have done a little better but man i cannot complain with what we got today guys i literally cannot complain at all from what we got today so recap and i'm gonna probably include the other cards i got here too from the other set but got a zamazenta v zacian v imposter professor oak gardevoir ex mew a shiny mew gold card i think that's that's gotta be the star aside from the shiny magic carp it's a tie it's a tie between yeah the surfing pikachu yeah it's a tie between these two for sure these two oh man I, i'm so happy i got this set but if i did not make my money back i might have come a little close and the venusaur too man we just got so many cool cards from this set guys from this box so yeah, I am definitely extremely happy with what I got. But honestly, these are the stars right here. And those two gold cards, but 
these this is the whole reason you get the box set right here because of these two guys right here and this charizard's in pretty good condition too i might go send this one that did get graded but wow what an opening you guys thank you thank you so much for if you've made it this far thank you so much for sticking it out with me I hope you all enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out. I'm going to get those other videos up here uh, pretty soon too. So keep a lookout for those and I'll see you all in the next one.